สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Good t y p e Online Today I just want to teach you about the pronoun I know everyone know about the pronoun how you call it in Thai right But today I will teach you differently because I will expand you more vocabulary about the pronoun each pronoun for male and female and children everyone and then so you can know the pronoun of Thai language better So let's get started. In daily life, you may know about Thai pronouns. How you can call yourself in Thai, right? For example, I. For male speaker, you call yourself p o m right? And then for female speaker, you call yourself d i s h a n or s a n right? And then, uh, actually, it's not just like that because there are many pronouns that Thai people use in daily life, and then uh, you may get confused, and then you have questions when we when you uh, when you hear Thai people say it differently. So let's learn it one by one. I, for male speaker, usually we call ourselves as pom, pom. Uh, for I, for male speaker in Thai, to make it polite, right? But actually, there are some other words as well. So, did you know that sometimes male speaker we call ourselves at chan as well? Chan, yes, it's the same word. Ah, uh, just like ah uh, women call themselves chan, right? But this word, when the Thai male speaker call themselves chan, it means that this one they just want you to make it ah uh, more informal and intimate. And usually, we use this word with children. And intimate friends only. The next one, go, go, go. This one consider uh, a little bit impolite, uh, but uh, we use it usually with only uh, very very close friends. And the last one, row, row, row. Yes, uh, it sounds the same word as we in Thai, right? Uh, but this one we we also use the word r o w for I for male speaker as well, because uh, if you if we want to make it uh, not too formal and uh, not too informal, just make it neutral. So you, we just use it r o w We just call ourselves r o w For Thai women, Thai women usually call themselves as Chan, Chan. Chan. This is very most common word that Thai uh, female person call themselves, right? But actually, there is another word. Uh, they can call themselves as di chan, di chan, di chan. This one is more formal. Uh, Thai female uh, speaker usually use this one in a meeting or uh, when they want to make a speech in the formal situation or formal conversation, or use it with someone that uh, they don't know them well and they just want to make it polite and then just like a little bit pay respect to them. Another one is row, row, row. So this one is just the same uh, as the. Uh, what that Thai male speaker also call themselves when they want to make it neutral, right? Uh, another one, uh, especially for the female speaker, that they call themselves uh, to be cute and to make uh, it sounds lovely. They call themselves cow, cow, cow. Yes, this one sounds a little bit like uh, he, she, they in Thai, right? But uh, Thai female speaker also call themselves at. Cow as well. This one they use uh, among the close female friends to make it a little bit polite uh, and very uh, uh, casual. And the last one for female speaker, they call themselves no, no, no as well. So no means I for young women or teenagers that. Uh, When they want to, but 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 when they use this word, they use it with uh, someone that they pay respects to, or especially for the elderly. Yes, I know that the word "no" u uh, means mouse or rat in Thai, right? Uh, but uh, there's Thai people for the female speaker, they also call themselves "no" u as well. Uh, for the young women or teenagers that they want to make it polite and a little bit pay respect to the. Uh, elderly or senior persons. For kids, we use the word 
nu 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 are usually for the female kids that they call themselves nu but uh, for male kids right they usually call them call they call themselves ผม yeah and then uh but when the people call the children right for the all the kids they usually call them as หนู right they call หนูหนู yeah it means that หนู is for I for the kids and for you for kids as well and the last one is very formal word for I so it is ข้าพเจ้าข้าพเจ้าข้าพเจ้า this one is uh, usually you find it uh, in the speech or very very formal context What about the word you? We usually use the word k u n as you in Thai. It is for the general way or the common way that we use it to sound polite in Thai, right? But sometimes uh, you will hear Thai people, especially for in the service industry, they call uh, the customers or clients as tan as well, right? Tan as you, uh, because they want to pay respect to them and give them an honor. And then, if uh, in the speech or the uh, the announcements that very formal, you will hear the word "tuk tan," "tuk tan." It means everyone or everybody, or it means all of you, right? Actually. And then the next one, yeah, t h e r a u or n u These three words that uh, you can pick uh, one of these to address children. The next one. แกแกแก This one you will hear Thai people call their close friends, uh, either male or female. They use this word as well. Uh, it's okay that you can use with your close friends, but it maybe uh, sound a little bit rude if you use it uh, with other people, not your close friends. Next one, เธอ or ตัว This one is you that. Uh, Female uh, Thai th- that that Thai female people usually use it to call their close female friends. The next one, nai, nai, nai. This one is you uh, for uh, Thai male people that that they ca- they call their close male friends. And the last one, t h e t h e t h e This one is you that you will hear. Uh, The a couple that uh, when they address uh, each other, they we call t h e t h e t h e Oh yes, and very very last one is mung, mung, mung. This one considered as informal and impolite, but you can use it between uh, your friends and your close friends only. For the word we, we use the word r a u As the word we in the general way or the common way, uh, when you want to say we, right? เราว right? Or sometimes you say พวกเราวพวกเราว It means all of us. And we can say uh, besides that, we can say in another context. Just for example, เราสองคนเราสองคนเราว is mean we, right? สองส mean two. คน is mean persons, so เราสองคน it means we two or two of us, right? And the the last interesting one is คนเราคนเราคนเรา it means we the people or we of the world. When you want to say as the general people in the world or the, something like that. For the word he, she, they, we call เขาอินไท For the word they, sometimes we call พวกเขา as well. For พวกเขา is more formal and more precise because พวก is like group of something, right? So it's plural. And then เธอ right? เธอ this one we call a uh, uh, female person because it sounds softer than the word เขา especially when there are he and she in the same sentence. So you can you call. Uh, She as t h e not k o w and k o w right? So that's why you can uh, see the different between he and she in the sentence. The next one, gae, gae, 
care. This one is for uh, friends. Uh, refer to friends, both male and female. Uh, very close friend as well. The last one is lon, lon, lon. Usually you find it in the novels or something. And then uh, if in daily life you will hear Thai people, especially for senior persons called the younger uh, generation female, right? Uh, that lon. For the word it, we call it man, man, man in Thai. We usually call the word it as man in Thai, right? And sometimes we use it to refer to people in a derogatory way. So now you know the uh, new pronouns for the first party, second party, and third party in Thai, right? Uh, I hope you like it uh, and then uh, find it useful. And then uh, you have question in mind that how you use it properly because uh, there are many words of the pronoun words, right? For I, for you, uh, for we, they, right? So how you use it, how you match it, right? For the same level of the language uh, of Thai, uh, of the Thai language that we use. So uh, here we come to the uh, sentences of the example that I just want to show you about the I and you because uh, these two pronouns are used uh, most often. So you can see the sample now. Chan, te, di chan, kun, pom, kun, rau, nai, rau, ke, rau, te, kau, tua, ku, mung. And that's all for today. How was it? I hope you like it and find it useful. If you like it and find it useful, please click like and share to your friends. And please click subscribe to Kudu Thai Online by Ajahn May channel. And also please click the notification bell below to notify you whenever I have the new video and the new lessons for you. And thank you for watching today and see you in the next lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write it uh, below in this video. And see you in the next lessons. Take care. Bye. Sodi Krab. Bye.